Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on this adventure and today we are going to recreate a sandwich that I ate quite a bit of when I was stationed over in Turkey. I hope you enjoy it. Let's have fun cooking with the geezer. So what we have here is your basic ingredients. Again, uh, you can use any kind of spam you want. Uh, I'm actually using regular spam uh, in this video. Um, the slice of tomato is the idea I got from the sandwiches in the little corner sandwich um, portable cart thing. Uh, he used that, those tomatoes, really added some great flavor. Uh, I got Colby Jack cheese here, which um, is a pretty good flavor. Uh, I, I normally put whatever cheese I have, pepper jack would be good, um, even um, Munster or j you know any provolone, any kind of cheese you like. Sometimes I'll put two on there, um, two different types, so just add a little flavor to that. Really, really good stuff, man. Got to try that out. Okay, and the butter for the buns. Oh, and some other um, things you can do. If you want to make it a little bit more healthier, add some veggies to it. Um, dice up some onions, some peppers, maybe even uh, some mushrooms, and put them on top of the egg right after you put it into the ring so that they can kind of sink into the egg a little bit. And then that way they'll start to cook a little bit and cook a little bit more once you flip that egg over. Um, it, it's really unlimited as to what you can do. And that. Uh, butter I have there is the uh, butter spread that's got uh, some canola oil in it which helps make it um, spread a little bit easier than regular butter uh, but you still got to let it sit at room temperature for a little bit to soften it up so it's easier to spread uh, you can also um, for the English muffins you can use the wheat ones I love the sourdough um, and just the regular ones but the uh, sourdough would probably be my favorite all time but uh, they didn't have any um, when I went to the store and it's amazing how fast the English muffins will sell out sometimes um, so it's, it's just really crazy and of course uh, you can have one even two eggs but then two eggs makes it a little bit too tall a little bit harder to bite and then you think you're eating some deluxe cheeseburger or something because <laughs> you have trouble biting that thing so but be sure you have all your ingredients ready uh, before you actually start putting stuff on the grill because once you start it's going to go fast let's get this thing fired up and uh, this is my blackstone griddle and it is awesome it's got four burning sections i'm only using two on this video I've got my egg ring on there for the egg now i like to butter the english muffins uh, that way you get nice evenly toast um, on the on the surface the cut surface and uh, so it's really good it helps uh, the muffin not soak up any of the tomato juice and get soft um, it will get a little squishy sometimes but you know you get that little toasted uh, buttered surface on there and that really adds some good flavor to it so I really enjoy that now we put a little butter inside the egg ring and uh, you know that you got to have something in there but butter is really good when I worked at McDonald's that's what we use is butter and egg rings and uh, then uh, put the egg in there and then you want to give it a little crack to make sure the yolk will break so that it'll cook a little bit more evenly and excuse the uh, video is shaking a little bit because the little covered patio I built um, is a few inches off the ground and so it shakes a little bit so but it doesn't affect anything a little salt and pepper on that egg um, sometimes I'll put uh, the hay the hayo sauce or not sauce but the pepper lime stuff has a nice little flavor flavor to it or any kind of seasonings you want but you know at least put a little uh, pepper on there and a dash of salt that muffins come along pretty good you got to put a little spam on there now you want to get it toasted on both sides so 
we'll put it on there on the one side and uh, after a couple minutes we'll flip it over time's going by pretty fast here when you're cooking so you know keep an eye on things watch those muffins make sure they don't get too toasted and uh, you know if you don't think they're toasted enough just put it back over there but look how beautiful that looks little caramelization of the butter and uh, so anyway uh, you, this point you're just about ready to flip that egg over uh, you can see we've toasted the muffin pretty good and you're about ready to flip over that spam And we just want to make sure the egg is cooked good enough to um, for your own taste. Uh, there, look at that now. See, you got got to have some Tabasco. Over in Turkey, I didn't have Tabasco. I was using Louisiana hot sauce, which has its own unique flavor, which is really good. Uh, it's not as much heat level, I don't think, as Tabasco, but it's got a really good flavor to it. I don't like a lot of heat. I go more for flavor. So I love the flavor of Tabasco. Uh, and I have several types of Tabasco, but um, you know, it's pretty good stuff Now we want to put the you put the cheese directly on the egg so that it'll melt a bit before you actually build your sandwich But getting back to that Tabasco there's garlic and you know Chipotle Tabasco. There's just all kinds. It's really good Now that slice of tomato is really great and Feel free to put some salt and pepper on there or whatever, see your Mrs. Dash or whatever you want, just to add a little bit more flavor to it before you put that egg and cheese on there. Man, this is really starting to look good. Now, you know, just be aware that sometimes this stuff will slide off. Um, so some people will take them and wrap them in wrapping paper for a couple minutes, just like to do at the uh, restaurants to... Um, help it cool when it starts to cool off it'll help it stay in shape but yeah you know, little problem with the knife here uh, it's not a serrated edge so uh, it was a little difficult I had to really wrestle it to hold it down so it wouldn't fall apart or slide off when I was trying to cut it but look at all that delicious sandwich right there now that is a breakfast sandwich that is soon not to be forgotten um, I think you'll probably want to eat more than one at a time, but man, this looks delicious. We grab one of these here. Get your eggs. You got your spam. I like the tomato, and I love hot sauce. Now the tomato idea and the hot sauce came from being stationed for a year over in Izmir, Turkey. A lot of spicy food over there, and I come to love it. There's a little corner stand like a cart and the guy made something similar to these they didn't have the muffins over there English muffins but they used a, a local small roll from a, from a bakery nearby so they were fresh rolls every morning and man that was good now in Turkey they had seasonal fruits and vegetables so in the winter time they would put tomato paste on the sandwich and in the summertime they'd have the fresh tomato and I come to love that it was cost me about five ten cents each pretty cheap it cost a living over there but I love an egg McMuffin and I love a, a spam muffin with um, uh, cheese and tomato and spam and uh, the incredible edible egg <laughs> all right let's do this Mmm. Well, I didn't put any um, salt on the egg when I was cooking it because there's enough salt on that spam. Now, in this one, I use plain spam, but I've got black pepper, I've got teriyaki, um, I've got bacon flavored spam. There's so many different flavors. But those are the ones that I prefer the most. Um, but just plain old spam is so good. Mm. 
Um, so I got another recipe coming up. It's going to be um, a grilled cheese sandwich with um, chicken thighs in it. Man, if you haven't had that, you're missing out. So stay tuned for that recipe. Uh, and I'm going to make uh, some chicken fried steak in the future, maybe some cheesecake. There's all kinds of recipes I'm going to make. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll uh, subscribe and stay tuned uh, for more. And thanks for cooking with the geezer.